Hey kid fixers, today we're going to be discussing how to make a Windows 10 bootable USB for your Lenovo. And as a shout out, if you find this video in any way helpful, please like and share. So the first thing I'm going to have you do is we're going to go into uh, your web browser. For me, that's Google Chrome. Uh, and you're going to run a search for Windows 10 creation tool. Uh, another way to do this is just follow the link in the comments down below. Uh, that also works too. So either way, but this is how I got to it. And then you go under here and you look for it right here, Windows 10. And then update now, you could select if you just want to update your computer, but if you actually want to be able to install Windows 10, you would hit the download tool now option. All right, so once you've downloaded it, for me, because uh, I have Chrome, it shows up right here. If you don't know where your downloads go, you would go to File Explorer, click on Downloads, and then it would be at the top today, Media Creation Tool. Now, as a shout out, you obviously need a USB to create a bootable USB. So I have one already plugged in right now into my computer, which you cannot see. Uh, but you as well should have your USB plugged in when you're doing this. I'm going to go ahead and close this down. All right, so now if I like, once again, if I wanted to upgrade the current computer, you could select this option, but we're going to go for create installation media. As you see, USB flash drive, DVD, ISO file, things like that. So I selected that. Now these have read my computer and selected the type I need for my computer, like it's some sort of backup. Uh, but so you might want to read through this because if you don't want this configuration, like say you have a very small computer that you need to run a 32-bit architecture, uh, then you would unselect that and go ahead and change that. Uh, also, uh, maybe the language and things like that. But I'm just going to use the recommended settings because realistically most computers run with these exact options. Um, there is also a useful option where you could select both if you might be installing a 64 or a 32 bit depending on like make say you're going to go back and forth. Although I found that when I selected both it did not work um, as well for for all the computers I was repairing. But anyway on to the next thing. So then we hit the button to go next. USB flash drive as, as you see it needs to be at least 8 gigabytes or larger. I think mine's 16 gigs so that's covered. Hit next. Uh, you select the drive from the list. Make sure you know what yours is called. Mine is this one right here. There's no other options. If you're worried about getting the wrong USB then maybe just unplug the other ones and refresh the drive list. Alright and then I hit next and then it downloads forever. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed up so you can see the next step. As you see it's finished downloading and now it's creating the Windows 10 media or Windows 10 USB. So just a little bit while longer and I should be all set. Alright so my USB flash drive is ready to hit finish and when it is done closing up then I can remove my USB and that is how you make a Windows 10 bootable USB. Thanks for watching. If you found this video in any way helpful please like and share. If you like computer repair videos then go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments then go ahead and leave them down below. But anyway, from one ACAD to another ACAD, this is Liz signing out.